subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. Question number 26. Why should we conserve biodiversity? How can we do it? Explain the importance of biodiversity hotspots and sacred groups. Why should we conserve biodiversity? Why should we conserve biodiversity? Narrow utilitarian ke liye, broadly utilitarian ke liye, and ethical argument. Narrow utilitarian derive economic benefit from cereals, pulses, and fruits. We get firewood, fiber, construction material, industrial products, medicinal products, etc. Broadly ki baat kare, 20% of total. It is oxygen from Amazon rainforest is broadly utilitarian. Pollination is also achieved. We derive several aesthetic pleasures from them. Ethical arguments. Million of species of plants and animals and microbes. They all live together. Every species has intrinsic values. We have moral duty to care for their well-being also. And pass on our biological legacy to future generation. इसी लिए हमें biodiversity को conserve करना है. क्यों? क्योंकि हमें उनसे बहुत सारे products मिलते हैं, oxygen मिलती है, and बहुत सारे ethical issues भी related हैं. कैसे करना है? In situ conservation, ex situ conservation, biosphere reserve, national parks, sanctuaries, sacred groups ये सब क्या हैं? In situ conservation. And X C two zoological parks, botanical gardens, safari park, cryo preservation, seeds banks, tissues culture. These are X C two conservation. Biodiversity hotspots are the regions with high level of species richness and high degree of endemism. By high degree of endemism, we mean that species at that region are not found anywhere. सिर्फ उसी रीजन में होती हैं। These are regions of accelerated habitat loss. Species number is extremely high in biological hotspots. Examples are Western Ghats, Sri Lanka, Indo Burma, Himalayas, which is in our country. Sacred groups की बात करें, तो they are tracts of forest in which all the trees and wildlife within are venerated and given total protection. Harbor large number of rare and threatened plants. Examples are Aravalli Hills in Rajasthan. Second question you can attempt. Represent diagrammatically three kinds of age pyramids for human population. They are post-reproductive, reproductive and pre-reproductive expanding. Pre-reproductive ज़्यादा हैं, then reproductive and then post-reproductive. सबसे ज़्यादा pre-reproductive and जैसे-जैसे post-reproductive phase आती है, तो number decreases. Pre-reproductive and reproductive they are almost equal and post-reproductive कम होता है. Reproductive ज़्यादा है as compared to post-reproductive. Plan next question था, how does an age pyramid of an human population at a given point of time help the policy makers in planning for future? कैसे help कर सकता है? They plan health, education, transport, infrastructure, finance, food, employment depend on the age pyramid analysis of population. This was question number 26.